All right, we're gonna go over how to get the Traveler's Chosen Sidearm Exotic. First things first is that you have to talk to Savala. Now, Savala had two parts earlier in, earlier in the year or in the season. Um, we had a preparation to evacuate uh, the planets. And now we have actually evacuating the planets now. I'm assuming you have to do the ones before there's a preparation uh, quest. The preparation quests, same thing, talk to Zavala. He'll give you, okay, talk, go to Titan, go to Mercury, go to Mars, follow the steps. And all we need to do for all those planets is do the weekly bounty uh, that's needed for that quest step and then talk to the vendor and leave. So it for, it's very quick. That one's very quick. But now we have the new quest steps for the Traveler's Chosen, which is the first step now is to go and talk to Ashamir on Io. So we're going to head over there and do that step. So if the first step, we talk to Ashamir and he'll give us this next step. I'm going to tell you this very quickly here, but just so you know, this quest takes about an hour or two, depending on how fast you do the strikes. You have a lot of strikes you got to do. Mainly this whole, the whole point of these quest steps or these, the reason why we're doing these quests is because of all these planets are being removed next season from Beyond Light. And they're making us do these sh all these strikes that are getting removed from the game. And also they're going to award us a Nightfall... Uh, strike weapons that you could earn from the nightfall from the nightfall from the strikes we're doing for today and it's just for free to give it to us to get the completer collection because you can't really do them next season in a couple months from now um, but the first step here i'll pause the video this is from my stream earlier today very scuffed as you know um, first step is we go and go to the lost sector sanctum of bones which is located in the area we're in right now loot the chest when you're done and collect uh, taken traces or collect traces of corruption, defeating Taken and Io. You could do this whole step in the Lost Sector. So just head over to the Lost Sector, and there will be a actually there will be a new boss. These bosses are actually really tough to kill. The Taken Phalanx of Barism, they're really hard to kill. So get a get a nice sword or nice weapon or heavy. It will take a bit of uh, damage to do. So here's an example of the battle here. So here we're into the boss room. This is the regular boss, but you see there's actually a quest marker behind him, which is actually the phalanx they have to kill to get one of the uh, the uh, one of the quest steps for this first step here. Um, and it, I honestly I had a tough time here. I don't have a lot of good weapons on me right now to deal with these guys. A sword probably would be best uh, to uh, take care of these guys. But once you kill them, you will get one of the steps done. Of course, like I said, every time you get taken taken kill, you will get a. Uh, uh, corruption trace whatever it's called i don't even remember at this point my short term memory the trace of corruption there you go perfect and that is that so once you do that it is pretty easy pretty much and remember when you get the chest you get the next step this is when you uh not when you but this is when you need to uh get the chest open and get the next step done and once you do all three kill the boss and all that stuff the next step is to do the permidium strike and kill vex on io uh, you will get all of the kills on Io. Uh, not on, on the Promidian Strike, no matter what. Do not go kill Vex on Io. You will finish the Vex kills in the Promidian Strike. It's really easy. I'm not sure if it's sh it's shared by if you hit a Vex and somebody else kills them, you get the, you get the traces. But uh, if you don't do damage to Vex, you will not get the traces. You have to do damage to the enemy in order to get these scan traces. So we'll skip ahead to the end here. So of course, you're going to have to uh, actually, you know, if you don't know how to queue up a strike, you know, on every strike that's on a planet, you can queue up there. You don't need to do a strike playlist. Just queue it up and just, uh, you know, press play, I guess, and match make for the premium. As you see, everybody's doing the quest on the bottom left there. You can see double blind. Everybody's doing the exact same thing on the first day, as always. That is always the fun thing of doing a exotic quest on the first day. Everybody in the game is doing it at the same time. It's always fun. So the, the, everything's populated. And next up, we're going to do a heroic adventure. Now, this, this confuses me. I am so blind. I didn't know where to find this. Now, this is this may be, maybe confusing some people, but this is exactly where we need to find it. Okay. On the IO map is next to the whisper quest who would have thought they would have put it on a blue goddamn banner this made me so mad i don't even know why they decided to make it like that 
but if you don't know where it is, that's exactly where it is on the map. It is not an adventure on the map, uh, on the patrol area. It is a, a, uh, a not a match made, but whatever, an activity press, I don't know, what do you call it, banner in order to get into the heroic adventure there. So there you go, once you complete this, you get to the last step on Io, which is talk to Asher Mir to get to the next step, which is uh, talk to Sloan on Titan. One good tip is that if you let the heroic adventure end, you will spawn here. So don't need to go out of activity and re-queue up and back into Io if you just don't want to leave the planet. So we talk to uh, uh, Asher Mir and he'll give us the Permidian uh, Nightfall uh, Cyber Rifle or reward for free. And then the next step we get is to go and go to Sloan and talk to Sloan and get the uh, her quest steps. So there we go. Evacuation Titan. Cool, cool. Let's show it here. If I do show it, I'll have to take a look at the Cyber Rifle. Apparently, I already had it. So I don't know why do you, why do I even look at these? I don't know why. <laughs> uh, but yeah, here we go. Head over to Titan, pretty much. So similar to Asher Mir, we have to go to another lost sector and do like almost the exact same thing. We first we have to get to open the chest, and also kill a Hive Knight, similar to the Phalanx we fought in the lost sector. Uh, this uh, lost sector is located in the same area, the patrol zone, methane flush, which is just right beside the uh, transmat zone. So we we'll skip to the end here and show myself. Uh, Killing this knight, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. So in this uh, lost sector, we're gonna kill the knight. We will get the uh, drop, or not? There's no, there's no drop. Kill the knight. Kill the you know lost sector boss, which is a wizard. Open the chest, you get the next one, assert inter inter interception, or a asset, I don't know, assert, am I blind? As asset interception, this one requires you to go to so, to the Solorium and the Festering Halls to locate these enemies, which are not hard to find, they are very, they, there's a waypoint when you get near them and you just kill them, you get a chest, so I'll show them exactly where they are, so you know where to find them or where to go. So heading into the Solorium here, just in the middle, the first guy to find, he's just right there. You can see that he has his name, uh, and he has a little uh, icon above his head, just so you know who to kill, what to kill. I think I decide to switch into using a sword, because swords are technically I have a lot better uh, to do to deal with. So I'm a, I, I'll show you guys exactly why we use swords <coughs> uh, in this game right here. This is, this is why we like swords. <laughs> Uh, since this is a brand new update, it makes things 10 times easier, pretty much. And he's dead. So there you go, that's the first guy in the Solarium. Um, and another two are just on to the right, you go to the right over here, into the Festering Halls. You can pretty much tell exactly where they're going to spawn, pretty much. So just entering the Festering Halls, you can see there's a giant ogre, first ogre to kill. <coughs> it is very easy to kill with a sword, as always, using... Our, our grenade to give us extra damage. Very nice. Almost died, I think. But first chest we get in Festering Halls, and obviously, kind of, it's kind of obvious that the next uh, enemy would be at the end of Festering Halls. This is like uh, makes makes kind of sense. So we got our second Golden Age tech, and we we'll head to the next one. Of course, just head down here as always. Like I said, this is near the end of the map. Grenade, super, blah blah blah. Pretty much just dies. That's why I like playing on a Warlock. Because uh, Warlock is OP in PvE, apparently. So, as soon as we kill the Ogre, we gotta head and get the chest in the middle. Here. I guess where it, where it's, where it dies, it spawns. I'm not sure. But we got the next quest here, which is B, the wall. This one requires us to uh, do a strike. I, uh, uh, who would have thought? Who expected this would be the quest up here? So, this one's a bit difficult. Not really, but... So this, I'll pause the video here just so you guys know, but Sabathun's song, it, it, which is located on the map, and uh, 25 tech fragments, either kill hive, ogres, wizards, knights on titan, but my best recommendation is do not, just do the strike first, and then worry, worry about doing other ones later, you will find ogres, wizards, and knights in the strike, 
but let me explain is that you have to tag them. You have to get an assist or kill them to get the fragments. You don't, you cannot just let them, other teammates kill them. You have to do some, not do some work, but obviously, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, you have to uh, do some damage to them. So uh, you can get 25 in total. If you don't rush the boss down, um, the knights and ogres do spawn during the boss phase, but uh, you will find enough knights and ogres in between each of the uh, strikes there. So you can see how we queue up here for Sabbath Moon Song. Um, so yeah, I will skip to the end, but you can see that uh, with proof that I finished the quest step um, in the strike. So you can see here. So you see here, if we finish the quest, the will of the Titan in the strike, so we didn't have to farm uh, outside of the strike, just did the strike one time, and then we finished and got the progress done. So the next step is talk to Sloane, uh, which will give us another Nightfall drop, and then she will tell us to go to Savala, and Savala will give us a nice prize, surprise as well, pretty much, very nice reward. <laughs> So Sloan will give us a auto rifle duty duty bound, and then the next quest up is return to Zavala, which we'll head over there now. So we head we head over to Zavala, uh, and he gives us a night another nightfall strike uh, reward, which is Mindbender's amb ambition. Surprisingly, it's a it's curated. It has its masterwork already, but the roll pulse monitor rampage not the best roll. That's for sure. That's for sure. But uh, it's all right, but the next step now we go to Mercury, and uh, the Mercury ones are not fun. But it was three steps, and we're gonna head over there and uh, check and uh, show them what we need to do. I guess. So we head over to Better Vance. He gives us this quest up. We we'll do a Garden World and get fifteen Timeline Fractures. We have to kill Hydra's Minotaur Cyclopses on Mercury. But like I said, do the strike first. And worry about these later. You, I do complete this quest up in the strike, so there is enough hydras, minotaurs, and uh, cyclopses in the strike. So just do garden worlds, and you will finish that quest up. As you can see here, we're going to finish the boss here on our garden world, and as soon as we get the chest here, we will finish the uh, exotic quest. I thought that maybe shooting the minotaurs might give you some. Uh, time fractures but they don't so you just gotta you can kill them if you want but there you go and your foot in his footsteps everybody finished it and this one so we did a, it's, a, it's a lot to kill so you, you do have a high chance of finishing this if you do enough kills to get enough assists and stuff from uh, killing minotaurs and hydras and cyclopses but the next step well the next step man you gotta do a tree of probability strike, another strike on Mercury, and defeat 40 Cabal. You will defeat 40 Cabal no matter what on that strike. That strike has filled with Cabal. So don't worry about, uh, you know, don't worry about that that much. But uh, yeah, you gotta do another strike. Fun, right? Anyways, we'll go to the end here. So again, we finish the strike here. We got the uh, exotic or the quest drop here because we finish all the Cabal kills in here. Everybody in this uh, fire team has done it as well, because that's just how easy this one is. And next up is we'll do a heroic version of Bug in the System. The, probably the one of the worst uh, adventures, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I honestly hate that adventure out of the three uh, Mercury ones. Of course, if you, don't know, if you don't remember from last time, where it's located on the map, it is the blue banner on Mercury. So... It's a brand new button. Just click on that. Boom. Bug system. Done. Load it in. This time, I will not mess up. So there you go. <laughs> if you don't know where it is, that's where it is on the screen. So when you finish bugging the system, you want to wait. Do not leave the lobby. Wait until you get the actual notification of completing the quest step. It takes a bit of time. As you can see here, I'm waiting here, waiting. And there you go. Better days ahead. Just make sure you wait for that to happen. And once you've done that, you're done on Mercury. Three steps two strikes and one heroic adventure and you're done to talk, talk to his brother friends and he'll give you another nightfall uh drop i guess you could say so we head to brother vance here and he'll give us a weapon i think it was duty something or a hand cannon or a dfa that's what it's called i don't know what it's called i don't even know what that stands for because i don't know lore 
So there we have the DFA a hand cannon, and the next step is go to Anna Bray, and this is the last planet to evacuate. So we're almost done here, pretty much. So we talked to Anna Bray, and we got our first step: signs of life. This is where we have to go into uh, Mind Lab Rasputin. This is this is at the beginning of the season. People's like, what is this objective marker on my on this uh, panel? And this is this is the reason. This is this is what it's for. It's because it's for this quest. Who would have thought? Like, why, why can't I interact with this interact with this uh, screen? Because it had this symbol. We couldn't do anything with it. So now there's actually a reason. So if you don't know where this is, I'm a I'll, uh, I'll times two up times two this. Uh, pretty much show you guys exactly where it is. You just gotta go to where you know where you go to mine labs. This is one where I think people might get not not might get lost. It's not that it's not that hard. You just gotta like it tells you to go to my labs, and once you get to, once you get to my labs, it pretty much gives you a way marker, a waypoint to show exactly where you need to go. But here yeah, I'll just give you the full rundown here of where to go uh, for my labs. It's very simple. So once you let enter here, you have a waypoint. You want to go into the vent here, and then interact with the panel, and then you get the next step here, pretty much. So the next step is recycled components. You have to get. Five Rasputin frame pieces by defeating bosses in EP. Now, it's only the only bosses that count are the ones at the end phase, not like it, not just yellow bars, actual the actual bosses of EP. So, like, you know, for like wave one, wave two, wave three bosses, you know, all those kind of stuff, wave seven, you know, wave six, you know, how EP works. Um, but there are, let me tell you, there are some waves, there are some waves that have two bosses and they both count as two kills. So, I have an example here. Uh, if I could find it, I'll just find myself here. So we're on wave five here, and the two ogre bosses spawn, and killing these two ogre bosses will count as two boss kills right now. So we got, pre I got pretty lucky here, getting these two ogres to spawn. As you can see, we got two Rasputin pieces right there. So that's pretty good. That's two out of five right there from one wave. So very easy. And in wave six, there's also two knights, two hive knights. So. If you got a, if you find a wave five and a wave six together, you can just finish this pretty quickly. So it's not that bad. But there are some boss waves I have two bosses, so take keep a look for those bosses. I don't know what I said, but yeah, there you go. Of course, we get to wave seven here, which is like the worst boss, the ogre boss. And I, I don't think my game even loaded when I actually completed the quest. Is literally lagging. I lag so much on EP, it's insane, <laughs> pretty much. But we did it on the bottom left. So we got signal shielding. This is the last step for the quest. This is absolutely the last step. The last step is do the heroic adventure. Uh, what's it called again? Uh, Deadly tremors. Yes, there you go. I don't even remember. But as you know, it's located on the map. Click launch. It's heavyweight as well, so use some heavyweight heavy weapons. Um, and this is this is the fast. This is basically the fastest adventure you could do in Destiny 2. I'm not. Gonna, I might not skip it here, but uh, you can see what I did here. It's super quick. It's like the fastest adventure ever. So first things first, you gotta just kill Hive acolytes. The ab the abhorrents don't really. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that very badly. My parents don't really uh, drop one, but only the acolytes and knights drop these uh, Xeno crests. Once you get the eighth, eighth, eight ones, then it gets pretty fast. Uh, you just skip through most of it. Use a sword, I guess, and you gotta track the static. We'll, we'll times to this so it's faster. You pretty much see how fast, how easy it is. it's like the easiest adventure out of like all the adventures in Destiny Two. I mean, it's probably one that's much faster, but this is like. Super, super easy, <laughs> pretty much. I've had the choice, the choice to do this over and over again. Um, you just gotta kill these uh, hive devices. You use a sword and you just one shot them if you want. You just gotta run through the entire, uh, entire uh, area here. Just go to the tunnel or this cave, you know, the classic cave. And just uh, right click this uh, hive device and it's dead. Then you head out to this part over here. It says defeat Hive, but all you need to do is defeat the Ogre. And the Ogre, then once you defeat the Ogre, is is the adventure is over. So that, that's it. All you need to do is kill the low Ogre at the end here. Of course, it's a little bit dangerous here, but, you know, super sorted, whatever. And then you're done. The the, the, the adventure is over. It's, just, it's so easy. It's such an easy adventure. Um, it shouldn't take that long to do. 
and then force rebuke go back to anabre um i hate how we have to always go back to orbit or wait for the timer so there is that you know i'm too late i'm at, i'm at the end of the video already i'm just gonna just skip it like this because it's faster so i'm just pausing every single time but talk to anabre she gives us a, a Braytech Osprey, which is good. You need that for the uh, Wayfair uh, title if you don't have that already. So this is important to get if you don't have it. It's free, free Osprey. And then once you once you get that, you look back to Savala, and Savala will give us a nice gift, which is Well, it gives a nice speech, which I'll skip because you don't need to know. You, you see that yourself. But we get the Traveler chosen at our power level, or gear level, pretty much. And there you go. That's the gun. We got it in about two hours. Takes a bit of time, sadly. Um, we can't get the title yet. Title is still time-gated. The means to end quest doesn't give us any new lore. So um, I did use the gun. Gun's all right. It's gimmicky, but it could be good. If you have a not a, like to, uh, when I say it, it's not uh, like I said I say gimmicky but the build I'm using for Warlock doesn't need the gun so maybe in different different builds it might be useful but for me it is not useful for me sadly so uh, with, the, with the Warlock build I'm using so that's that but the lore book's done and that is pretty much how to get the gun uh, it was a 20 minute video but I, mean, I try to go into detail as much as we can but uh, we will uh, that's 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 the gun. Right there, pretty much how it went there. Traveler chosen. I use it. You get ten. You can get ten stacks in total, and then if you have, you just use a grenade and you uh, re hold reload. Uh, you will get uh, your uh, your uh, grenade back fully. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, hopefully this helps. It's a pretty long video, but I mean, that's what I like to do. I guess go into good detail.